Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Call of Duty World at War Let's Play. It's been a while bit since I've posted a video, but we will be playing um, on Shinonuma today. The last episode I did was Verruckt. Uh, uh, Shinonuma is probably the map that I'm worst at in World at War, so wouldn't figure that this one's very long. But this is the first one where we're introduced to our characters. So, good old Peter McCain over here. Um, yeah, my sensitivity is higher than I remember. It takes zombies very, 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 very long to get to where you are here. So. The lovely knife mechanics of World at War. I never go this way. I always go this way. That's the way the breeze to the box. This is also the first time that we see um, the Hellhounds in the game. So, very interesting. Did they jump down from there? I actually know. Ammo now. Oh, so I'm Dempsey. As always, and I think it's very dangerous in World of War. You know, that wasn't too bad. $1,200 gun, got over $950. Not good against dogs, though. So. Damn. The perk of cola is on this map. Also, I should have picked up that devil points after I killed that zombie. Um, the perk of cola machines, they uh, they move around this on this map. Like, there's no consistent spot for any given one. There are set locations that the machine will be. But what machine it is, is what's inconsistent. So. Alright, I don't necessarily think the Type 100 is great against the dogs either, but, you know, it's an interesting gun. Is this a trench gun? 
probably end up buying this. I'm probably going to use the Magnum against the dogs. Actually. Since I got the money for it. Time to send those maggot sacks back to hell. Son of a bitch. <laughs> The dogs are not to be messed with in World of War. In Black Ops 3 in particular, they are super weak. But, uh, not in World of War. In World of War, they... They can do some damage. So... Yeah. I think I'm gonna go this way first. Because I have access to the flogger, which I don't, I don't normally use the flogger, but you know, it's imperative to use for high rounds. It's an infinite damage trap. There aren't too many infinite damage weapons in World at War, so. There can only be like 25 zombies on the map at one point, I think, in Shinonuma. I can't really remember what the amount is. But just like the uh, the previous two maps, there's no pack a punch. So eventually my weapons are going to become more and more useless. Um, you get the Wonder Wap from up here, I think. I, I don't actually know how. Speed Cola, not what I'm looking for. Uh, this is not where I'm supposed to be. I'm going to try to get the song. I don't... Shinonuma is, like I said, the one I've played the least of. I don't really remember where everything is. Maybe doctor's quarters. The main goal right now is getting jug. As, you know, it's normal for playthrough of any zombies map. Um, Nobody's meat snack. Even without their heads, they're still very dangerous. Just not fun.
Yeah. Sounds about right. That was risky. <laughs> I'm not good at Chino Numa. I'll give it another go. I didn't even talk about the lore of this place. So, Peter McCain was in Verrucht. He was one of the four Marines. Uh, actually, no, he wasn't one of the four Marines. Tank Dempsey was. My apologies. They were going to save Peter McCain. And, um... Obviously, they... They didn't... Tank Dempsey ends up getting caught by Group 935. Uh, which was run by Dr. Ludwig Maxis and Edward Richthofen. They experimented on... Uh, Dempsey, Nikolai, Takiao, and I can't, there was a Mexican whose name I can't remember. He becomes relevant in Black Ops 4, I think, on um, any World of War stuff. But, um, Peter McCain was reassigned to figure out what was go going on here. Um, Chino Numa is... I think the Japanese counterpart for Group 935 is Group 13, or something like that. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, if I'm being honest. And, um... Oh, shit! I think it's Skull just hit next week! He got caught up here and didn't make it. As you can see, his hand is cut off, but that's the hand that's on the power fuse in, uh, Luverucked. But he was here to spy on them, see what they were doing. Because uh, they have the Element 115 Meteor in the Shinonuma facility. Hey there, you guys screaming at me? Great aim. So yeah, this gun is about to be useless. Um, almost as bad as the Springfield. Being said, nothing is worse than the Springfield. Uh, we're gonna go Doctor's Quarters first this time. See if that makes things better. Though I doubt it will. I'm gonna pick up the trench gun again. You know, the air socket was not a great gun for me to pick up. I grabbed it more just for the aesthetic of the weapon than anything else. But it is not. It's. It's not great. This is one of the few infinite damage weapons of the game. A flamethrower, and it is awful. I will not be keeping it. Awesome. PPSH, great gun. Yeah, the, uh, the flamethrower is one of the least cost-efficient weapons in the game as well. Where's this last zombie at? Yep, here. I hear you. Probably down here. Oh, look at that. There's two of you. Lovely. Back up, 
if I can get past round seven, it'll be a good game. I've also been thinking about expanding my uh, catalog to some new games. Um. Right now, I'm thinking of maybe a grand strategy game like Total War. A paradox strategy game. I haven't decided yet. PPSH though, great gun in this game. I'm not even gonna hit the box. Ready to die, freak bags. I'm I am happy with the PPSH and the trench gun. I think this is where, uh, yeah, this is where I want to be, what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the, uh, there's a phone, I think. And that's how you activate the song in this map. Can't remember though. Son of a bitch. Again, I'm hoping that this is Juggernaut. Oh, Speed Cola again? Is it? Oh, it might just be set at that then. First one's always Speed Cola. This is not the right place. Damn it. Is there a communications area? I can't remember. Out of all the zombies maps that I have played, I think this one and Zetsubo are the two that I've played least. Oh, Comrim, yeah, that's right. That's where I want to be. One, I think it's the best area for training. If you're gonna train and... It's where the telephones would be. Won't lie, I'm getting slightly disoriented though. I think this. I don't remember putting my sensitivity this high. I mean, I must have, but. Now, this water is deeper than I remember it being. Yeah, this is it. Because there's an SDG right here. 
Nice job. I'm like 99% sure this is how I get the song. I'm probably gonna die this round though. This is one of the cooler songs though. The World at War songs do just a fantastic job. So the only place that didn't open up was storage when we've been playing. I didn't open up Fishing Hut yet, but I did last time around. This is where the meteor is, over this way. Call of Duty World War II, which I think came out in 2018, has an Easter egg for this uh, game. This game's PPSH is crazy strong. Um, and you can actually get a special PPSH in uh their first map i can't remember the name of it oh, i was gonna say wasn't that money saying that jingle the meteor over here i don't think it's over here i could have sworn it was in the bad storage Great aim. Great aim. Um, I'll probably open up storage next, but I'm gonna save up for speed cola. I think. Shino Numa is one of the harder maps. For a couple of reasons. World at War weapons aren't super strong. Compared to, like, Black Ops 3 weapons. Um, obviously there's no Pack-a-Punch. Um, and in Black Ops 3, to reference Black Ops 3 again, you get Gobble Gums. Gobble Gums are crazy overpowered. Dude, I love Bossa Nova. T 
to storage we go. It's over here. Um, hopefully this is double tap. Because this gun with double tap is crazy. This gun with Pack-a-Punch a double tap is really crazy. Oh, there's the Meteor. Oh, hold up. Didn't mean to reload. Quick revive. revive soda! Unfortunate. Means I will not be coming back here. Because, uh, can't use quick revive when you're playing by yourself. It is useless. The PBSH is just so good. However, it's not what I wanted. Say I'm longing for a uh, max ammo. Got to take what you can get, I guess, which is a double tap, not double tap, double points with no max ammo. Lovely. Uh, should be getting max ammo next round though, so it's not the end of the world. Are you lost zombie? I think you are. It's only one other area I haven't unlocked yet. I think. Four-legged freak sacks, just more shit to blow up. I'll get that after I get double tap, and then I'll be content with dying. The trench gun with double up, uh, not double tap, but speed pull is really good. That reload time is just crazy. Yeah, that's right. I normally never buy double tap because it. What in the world is a root beer shelf? Makes uh. Double tap, one point oh is very strong, but. <laughs> will make you run out of ammo extremely fast, so. Especially on the Thompson. Pretty sure this is the last guy. I never open up this side. Oh, it's, it's right. There's a power for the zip line. I don't remember where it is, though. I've never actually used the zip line. Slide and ride, sweet. 
put on that? Still don't know how it works. Let me be honest. Didn't answer any of my questions. It's just now it's just here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I had, oh, I ended up with 24,000 points. Alright, that one, that one was a lot better. That one was a lot, lot better. <laughs> However, I'm going to be happy with that and call it. Uh, next time we play World at War, we will be playing Darice, which is by far the best map on World at War, and mm, debatably the most iconic zombies map of all time. But uh, thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and stay beefy.